Hello everyone, my name is Jacob Wall. Today's topic is, is it 100% safe to drive a car or ride in a car without a seatbelt? Okay, the answer is no, it is not 100% safe to ride in a car without a seatbelt or drive a car without a seatbelt. Now, is it a law to wear a seatbelt? And I did look that up today. And the only state that does not have the enforcement law wearing a seatbelt is New Hampshire. And I and I think every other state I think you you, you gotta wear a seatbelt. I could be wrong, but you gotta wear a seatbelt. Now, the other thing I heard was um, and this might be might be depending on where you are you're at. Um, police officers cannot pull you over for not wearing a seatbelt. Um, but they can but they can pull you over for something else. So, I mean, let, let's say, for instance, you run the red light and they pull you over for running the red light. Well, if they see you not wearing a seatbelt, then they can get you for that too. Um, but I could be wrong, so don't take my uh, um, word for that, if, if I'm incorrect. Um, so again, it is not 100% safe to ride in a car or drive a car without a seatbelt. I mean, if if you was getting an accident, then you um, you could possibly get hurt. All right, sorry that um, today's topic is short. It is time to get saved. I would like you to go to Romans chapter three and verse twenty-three. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. That means we all have sinned and we all have made mistakes. None of us is perfect. I would like you to go to Romans chapter 6 and verse 23. For the ways of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Because we all have sinned and we all deserve to die and go to hell. But don't worry, I got another verse to tell you. That is Romans chapter 5 and verse 8. But God demonstrates His own love toward us, and that while we are still, still sinners, Christ died for us. Christ died for us. He died for me and you, so we don't have to go to hell when we die. But we have to do one thing, though, and I'd like to go to Romans chapter 10, verse 9 to 10, and we'll jump over to verse 13. That if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead. He will be saved for with the heart one believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confesses is made unto salvation. Forever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Once you ask God to come into your heart you will be saved. Let's get saved right now. Don't wait till next week because there may not be a next week. Alright, let's get saved. Dear Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner and that you died and rose from the dead for me. Please forgive me for my sin and take me to heaven when I die. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. If Jesus prayed, you are now saved. I like to go to First John chapter five, verse eleven and thirteen. And this is the testimony that God has given us to our life, and this life is in His Son. He who has the Son has life. He who does not have the Son of God does not have life. These things I have written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life, and that you may continue to believe in the name of the Son of God. 
You can know that you are saved. It's not a hope so, it's a no so. I'd like to go to John chapter 10 and verse 28. And I give them eternal life, but they shall never perish, neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. I like that verse. No one cannot take you away from God. No one cannot. I'd like you to go to Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 to 20. And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. Baptism is the next step after getting saved, and baptism does not get you to heaven. Baptism does not. I'd like to go to Acts chapter 2, verse 41 through 42. Then those who gladly received his word were baptized in that day. About 3,000 souls were added to them, and they continued steadfastly in the apostles, doctrine, and the fellowship, and the break of bread, and in prayers. Go to church and learn about the gospel. I like to go to 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 2. As newborn babes are the poor milk of the word that you may grow thereby. I like to go to Philippines chapter 4 verse 6 to 7. The acts is for nothing but everything by prayer and sub hasten with thanksgiving. Let your request be made, made known to God, and the peace of God will suppress us all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Read your Bible and pray every day. Prayer changes things. Last verse of the day. I would like you to go to John chapter 3 and verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God loves us. He loves me and you. That's all I have. Um, next week's topic is, is it 100% safe to go swimming alone? Goodbye, everyone.